Okay, a uh, little more material here. Uh, and what is your role as a CISSP in the, the organization? I mean, there's all kinds of roles. And again, when we get into security management, we will look at different roles within the organization, particularly as they relate to security. But what is your role as somebody who is going to be the security professional in your organization? Um, you are uh, first or overall, uh, you've got to have a strategic overview of information security for the organization. You are, well, I mean, there's the three levels. There's uh, strategic, tactical, and operational uh, levels of security operations. The operational, of course, is whatever happens day to day. Tactical is going to be looking at um, some of these operations in combination and in a slightly longer term. Um, but the, the strategic is going to be looking at security overall, what areas of the organization need, what types of security, um, what, well, what the, the tactics and, and the operations uh, should be, or at least how they should be directed, how they should be decided. You will be making the policy decisions. Uh, or, again, um, when we get into uh, security management, we're going to be talking about management. And ultimately, of course, the, the policy decisions are going to be made in uh, or by uh, senior management. But you are going to be advising on those strategic and policy level decisions. So you have to have that long-term, wide-ranging viewpoint. You have to look at security as a whole. You definitely can't take the attitude of, you know, a firewall is good enough. That's the only tool that we need. You are going to be developing and or maintaining the information security program for the organization as a whole, probably. Uh, now, uh, in a, a very large organization, you may have a number of CISSPs at this level, and so it may not be the, the organization itself, and you may be cooperating with other professionals um, in a security team uh, in regard to different offices, agencies, departments of of the organization um, but you're you're going to be developing you're going to be maintaining you're going to be making decisions on the security overall and and directing uh, other people who are working at the tactical or operational level of security you are going to be providing advice in regard to information security. And once again, senior management, they are the ones who are always going to be ultimately responsible and ultimately making the decisions. But you are going to be uh, advising them in regard to areas of information security and supporting their decisions. So hopefully their decisions are, are the best for the organization with regard to uh, what the organizational needs are in terms of information security. Um, you are also, and, and this is becoming increasingly important, um, going to be um, assuring the, the organization and senior management in regard to compliance 
with regulations, with laws, with um, standards uh, that uh, uh, may be necessary. Uh, I mean, there are various standards such as ISO 27000 family, which are, uh, you know, good ideas and advice and, and provide guidelines and structures. But then there's, you know, if your company deals with credit cards in any way, you are going to have to be in compliance with the PCI DSS, the Payment Card Industry Data Security Standards. And uh, regardless of uh, what you may think of them, you have to be in compliance if you are going to use credit cards, if, if your company is going to use credit cards. So a, a number of these uh, standards and regulations are... Uh, uh, well, a number of them are increasing. The number of them are increasing, and, and uh, new ones are being created. Of course, the, the nice thing about computer standards is there's so many of them, and if you don't like these, just wait until next year when a whole new flock will uh, be coming online, on stream. Okay, in regard to... What I'm doing here, what this whole seminar is about, and of course, you know, this is uh, an interesting experiment, doing it all piecemeal in this way. But um, this is reviewing the topics to enable those of you who are intending to write the uh, CISSP exam or other certification exams uh, to face those exams. Um, I am not teaching to the exam, not even the CISSP exam. I am, uh, that is pointless. You know, there's, there's all kinds of, uh, you know, a huge bank of questions and getting you to remember the answers to all the questions, the proper answers to all the questions is not the point here because there, it's not that type of exam. The exam is, uh, well, we talk about in, in educational terms, um, uh, uh, Bloom's taxonomy, that's it, um, in terms of, of questions. And at the simplest level, there's just questions of fact. And, uh, you know, which uh, field does a firewall fi fall under telecommunications? That's a fact. Um, but that's the simple level. And that's not what you're going to be facing on the exam, at least not very often. Um, then there's, there's synthesis, putting multiple facts together. Then there's analysis, putting multiple facts together and drawing uh, some conclusion from them. But where the, the CISSP exam is really aimed is at the higher level still, which is looking at your critical thinking, your um, evaluation, your judgment as a professional, as a security professional. Are you a security professional? Do you have the right attitude, as I have mentioned before? And that is what is most important. So I will be dealing with concepts and the fundamental concepts of security. Are, uh, we are going to be concentrating on what I'm going to be emphasizing at every step. And it's just... Um, say to ensure that this seminar does meet your needs get in touch um, please don't just uh, assume you can leave comments I, all of these various uh, social media platforms I don't necessarily follow them and I don't necessarily pay attention to comments so you can send me email at isc2 at outlook.com or cissp at shaw.ca you can send me email to a number of other areas but those two uh, are, you know, sh should be memorable uh, in, in terms of contacting me. If you've got questions, if, you're, if you've got subjects that you specifically want me to cover, uh, then try that. So just once again, isc2 at outlook.com, cissb at shaw.ca.